Hi there, Cutman here. I'm going to show you how to warp a track for DJing with Ableton Live. The process is pretty simple. Grab your track, add it wherever. I like using iTunes because uh, it sorts all my tempos and stuff. And it's a little bulky and slow, but it gets the job done. So drag the track into Ableton Live, and Ableton will automatically scan it and pull out what it thinks is the proper warping for the track. But sometimes uh, it's not right, or it adds a ton of warp markers um, to sort of try to figure it out. So the first thing we want to do is click and drag here and set the correct start point for the track. So I'll double click right here on this first big kick to create a new warp marker. Double click here to get rid of the old one. Pull it back to the start point right here. So now we can see that the first kick is starting right on the one. Now there's a tiny little bit of space, uh, if I zoom way in where I see it's not exactly on the one, but that's going to be okay, it will be negligible in the DJ set. So the next thing I want to do is kind of go down a couple of bars and make sure that this thing is uh, right on the money. So I'll go down four bars, make sure that this is right locked in, and we can see that the kicks are all falling nice and evenly on the bar markers. I'm going to hit play over here. Turn on my next metronome to double check. You can turn up the level of the metronome with this little headphone bar right here. And that sounds pretty good. So now, I'll be able to take another track, something around the same tempo. Ableton will scan it. This is why you want to have your track queued up before it's time to play it. Because sometimes it takes a few seconds before Ableton will let us play. See? Can't play it, can't play it yet. Oh no! Alright, here we go. Ableton has calculated its tempo at 123 beats per minute. I think that's about right. Oh look, and the start point is even right in the right place. And to double check, sometimes I like to rock it down toward the end of the track find a kick drum around here near the end make sure it's still on looks like it's drifted just a little bit Let's cruise down here pull this on and if it looks like it's a little bit off you can hit command 4 or control 4 on a PC and kind of scoot it over without snapping so there we go all right, let's try bringing in this other track, see if it's in time. Sounds good to me. So there you have it, a very cut and dry way to warp tracks and get them playing ready for live performance with Ableton Live. Uh, I picked two tracks that do not have tempo changes. If you have a track with a tempo change in it, uh, it gets a lot trickier. And personally, I haven't even figured out the best way to deal with a tempo change in a live situation. So that's why I love house music so much, because it doesn't mess with me. Uh, these tunes are off of Rob KTA's Club Needle Mouse, which would be awesome if I had the website up. You can buy these tracks uh, from my label Game Chops by going to music.gamechops.com. I'm looking for this beautiful album cover. I hope this helps you set up and get ready to start DJing with Ableton Live. You can download a demo from ableton.com and try this out yourself. Ableton's a ton of fun and really flexible piece of software. So try this stuff out and have fun.